I'm Technical Sergeant Lance Sissel, work for the 31st MXS Maintenance Squadron, and I'm an Aircraft Fuel Systems Craftsman. Uh, our day-to-day -day job is basically troubleshooting and replacing faulty fuels components, identifying and applying the proper repair to fuel leaks on F-16s, and finally, uh, we're responsible for the 370 and 300 gallon external fuel program. We're not POL, so we don't, uh, we don't show up with the gas truck and refuel and defuel your aircraft. We can't service it, but it's not, it's not our primary uh, duty. Removing and replacing wings, I feel like it's probably the biggest task and not a lot of people have experience in it. Uh, basically what we do is we remove the bolts and then after that we'll physically remove the wing from the fuselage. After that we'll do a few inspections and then install the new wing. Trying to figure out what's wrong with the aircraft, especially on the F-16, is probably the hardest part. There's a lot of components that can go bad uh, that are really masked behind another component. Hand tight and good. Yes, sir. Yep. Our job is important because most parts are components that are bad. It usually is a Code 3 grounding write-up, so without us, uh, these jets wouldn't get back into the air. We are called the Aircraft Fuel Systems Repair Section, and we are responsible for the troubleshooting and maintenance of all assigned aircraft here at davis Mountain that ties to the fuel system. On a day-to-day -day basis, uh, we don't have anything standard. Uh, most of our maintenance is considered unscheduled maintenance. So the aircraft may fly and they may have an issue with something and then it comes down. And our uh, technicians are responsible for troubleshooting and determining the uh, repair process for that aircraft at that time. So that can include anything from uh, leaks within the fuel tanks to actual components as well. So anything that uh, controls the transfer of fuels right now, we are act actively supporting an A-10 deployment. But at this time, to be able to support that adaptive facing uh, we are requiring all personnel to be trained on all aircraft so that anybody deployed in that environment can support any airframe at any time. Randy! Randy's unconscious. Could you, could you so because of the type of maintenance that we do, specifically entering fuel tanks and fuel cells, there's always the possibility that it could be an IDLH environment or that maybe the safety equipment or PPE has malfunctioned and therefore the people that are inside the tank are no longer protected. So if that does happen, then we need to perform an emergency extraction. Yep. The Wing Safety Office actually owns the base level confined space program. We as aircraft maintainers just make up a small portion of that. So we will actually perform self extraction where we rescue our own incapacitated person while we wait for fire to respond to the scene. They will take over continuing medical care until medical personnel arrive on the scene and then they can transport that individual and get them the help they need. It also involves coordination with uh, numerous base level agencies, but all the agencies that were involved responded appropriately and we really showcased that we are able to respond effectively if the occurrence ever happens in a real life scenario. This is our confined space trainer. It's used to train not only new airmen, but seasoned airmen like myself in tank entry, exit, some evacuation procedures. We fine tune our own ceiling techniques and any other things we may have an issue with instead of pulling the aircraft off the line to do some training. We can do it readily in the shop, no notice, boom, there you go. brainstorm within the shop, then we reached out to Metal Tech and Cheap Metal. We gave them our ideas and kind of what we wanted to do, and they had the material laying around, and they executed it perfectly. They put together us a confined space trainer, built the specifications of the aircraft that we gave them. We told them our rib spacing and everything we needed. They put it together exactly how we wanted it. Staff Sergeant Carmelo Marin. I'm an aircraft fuel systems craftsman at 31st MXS. Today I performed a removal and replacement of the jet fuel starter filter with the General. We changed out the filter, inspected the panel, and we did the 781A forms. The most difficult part of my job is being able to isolate the components that we need to change out through our troubleshooting. We have to go very in-depth our TOs and figure out through multiple fault trees what issue is actually happening, which component directly is affecting that. My favorite part about my job is the hands-on nature of it, how I directly affect the mission. The components that I change and the troubleshooting that I do bring that jet back to mission-capable status and get it in the air the next day.